So the last scene in the show is the credits, and so there's a little bit of text uh, or a little bit of narration that happens on top of the uh, first few seconds of the credit um, sequence, and then uh, essentially after that it goes into, into just showing um, uh, the people responsible, the data res the, the data responsible uh, that was used in the show. So uh, for this again, it's a fairly complicated timeline. Um, I have uh, um, I want to turn off the orbits and asteroids at different times. So uh, as I move out, you can see the asteroids fade out, um, and I have uh, that's because they've they start at one and then goes to an opacity of um, of zero at five seconds. And then at that point, the asteroids start fading out at five seconds and are completely gone by 10 seconds. Um, and then as you keep pulling out, uh, then I have objects. Now, I, I tried two different ways to actually put the credits. One was on um, as text. So you open a text box, type in text, get it formatted properly. But I actually wanted to... Um, change, uh, have different fonts, and different colors, and and right now within Worldwide Telescope, when you have a text bo box, is one text object, all the properties, what, uh, you know, font size, color, and so forth, are uh, applied to all, all, all pieces of it, so you can't make one word or line different color or, or boldness than another, so you'd have to make them a separate object. So I did create a separate object for every line and tried to uh, create a a credits that way, and that was very, um, um, very cumbersome to create. So I, I decided to do a different way, which is to actually um, make the credits in Illustrator, and then, and then um, uh, put them onto a an image, save them as a PNG with a transparent background, and then uh, that image would, um, that image would. Uh, um, so I can well, let's preview the preview and, and see what it looks like. So we pull out the asteroids fade away, the orbit fades away, uh, and over this there's words, and then uh, soon we'll see the. Right about now we'll start seeing the images uh, as the sun shrinks into the into the, the distance. So these are the, and again, in virtual reality, this is, you can look up and down through a much larger field of view um, instead of the relatively small field of view of the screen you're seeing here. And I crossfade between different um, slides. And I was, I was much happier with this, with this result because it, it has the, um, uh, Illustrator does a much better job of, of writing out the fonts and gives me a lot more control over um, Groupings and small changes in locations than Worldwide Telescope, and it's much higher performance. So it's just fading one image out versus having to maintain a list of uh, many many objects um, to figure out how to render. Um, and then at the end, I fade in uh, th these logos, and then in a few seconds, we'll I'll fade out the stars, so that way it'll fade to black, and you'll be left with just this logo, and that's sort of a um, a uh, Indication from the audience they can leave or the operator that we're the show's done it has another you can either extend this to have a time for seating or you can cut it off early if you wanted to but um, the, the the credit slide has all the pieces to to uh, do what you need to do to wrap it to be the uh, beginning of the next slide So that's it for the show. Hopefully you learned something and can use some of these techniques in your own shows